Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this one. So the question is find the Thevenin equivalent circuit to the left of terminals AB. Okay, so we are given this circuit here. And to find Thevenin equivalent, we need to do three steps. The first one is to find out the Thevenin resistance. Find RTH. And then the second step is to find out the Thevenin voltage and then the third one will be draw the equivalent circuit okay we need to do it one by one so first step that we need to do is to find the Thevenin resistance let's do that find RTH okay how to find the Thevenin resistance? Okay, we replace the sources. Replace the sources. Okay, with the voltage source into short circuit. So we will have to replace the voltage short into short circuit. Voltage source into short circuit and then the current source which is this one here we replace it into open circuit Okay, let's redraw the circuit. So we will have this 32 volt voltage short uh, replaced by short circuit. So we have this one and we still have that 4 ohm resistor. So we will have this 4 ohm resistor. And then this 12 ohm resistor. Okay. And then what else? We have this 2 ampere current source replaced by open circuit. So we don't need to draw it. And then we will have this 1 ohm resistor. Okay, so we'll have 1 ohm resistor. And then this is terminal A, B, A and B. We don't need to draw the RL because the question asks us to the left of terminals AB, right? So what can we do is to find RTH, we need to find out this equivalent resistance seen from this terminal. So this is the RTH or equal to RAB. Okay, let's calculate that because RAB is equivalent to... This 1 ohm resistor, so we'll have 1, and then in series with 4 and parallel with 12. So we will have it like this, 4 parallel with 12. Okay, remember that 4 parallel with 12 can be written as 4 multiplied by 12 divided by 4 plus 12. And then we will have 1 plus 4 multiplied by 12 is 48, and then divided by 4 plus 12, that will be 16. So we'll have 1 plus 3, and so RAB is equal to 4 ohm, or the RTH here is equal to 4 ohm. So this is one of the important values that we need to solve this problem. So this is the value of RTH, which is 4 ohm. Let's rewrite that. Okay. And that is how to find out the Thevenin resistance. Okay. Now to find out the Thevenin voltage, we need a new circuit. Uh, let's clean up our board first. Okay, the second step that we need to do is to find out the Thevenin voltage. Okay, find VTH. 
Oke, okay, what is VTH? VTH is the open circuit voltage at AB. Open circuit voltage voltage at AB. Oke, okay, let's draw the circuit for finding VTH. We have this 32 volt voltage source. Oke. Okay. And then we still have that 4 ohm resistor. And then we still have this 12 ohm resistor. And then we also have that 2 ampere current source. And then we still have this 1 ohm resistor. Okay, 1 ohm resistor. So this will be A and this will be B. Okay, what we need to find out is the voltage here in AB here. So the voltage here. Okay, now let's see what can we do here. We have this 1 ohm resistor, but there is no current that goes here. Why? Because that is not connected anywhere, right? So, we just replace this with short circuit because the voltage here will become the same as VA here. Okay, so let's replace that. Good. And now we can do... Uh, circuit analysis to find out what is VAB. Let's set the bottommost node here as our ground. So this is V is equal to zero. The voltage here will be zero. And let's do nodal analysis. Okay. We will do this. This is still not A, right? Still not A. And we assume the direction of the current. This is going to the right, going down, and this is going up. Okay, and this is 32 volt from the ground. So we will have 32 here. And so we can do KCL at node A. KCL at node A. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, this is the current that goes in. This also the current that goes in. So for this one, we will have 32 minus the voltage here, which is VA, divided by the resistance between them, which is 4. And then plus this one that will be 2 ampere so we'll have 2 and that will equal to we will have VA and minus 0 which is VA divided by the resistance between them which is 12 okay we can multiply both sides by 12 to get rid of this denominator right so this will be 4 and 12 will cancel into 3 so we will have 96 minus 3 VA and then plus this one will be 24 and this one will be VA good and now 96 plus 24 is 120 and then that will equal to 4 VA 4 VA And that means that VA is equal to 120 divided by 4. That will be 30 volt. And then, in this case, because VAB is equal to VDH, and because VB is 0, so we will have this also our VDH. Therefore, VDH is equal to 30 volt. Therefore, our Tevenin voltage here is 34. Good. Okay, now we have 
the Tevenin resistance and the Tevenin voltage. The last step that we need to do is just draw the circuit. Okay, let's clean up the slide first. Okay, the last step is draw the circuit. So we'll have draw the circuit. Okay, the Tevenin equivalent circuit is just a voltage source in series with a resistor, right? So we will have this here. This is our VTH. So VTH, in our case, this will be 30 volt. Good. And then that will be in series with a resistor. And that resistor is the RTH. Okay, we will have RTH and that will be for ohm. Good. And so this is terminal A. And the other one will be terminal B. Good. And here we will have this RL connected to AB. So we'll have it like this. And this is our RL. And that is a variable resistor. So we draw it like this. Okay. So we will have this as our Tevenin equivalent circuit. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes during the calculation. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helped you. Thanks. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.